Hi everybody, welcome to a new tutorial from Sound for More, it's Leo speaking. Today I have the pleasure to introduce you to some of the latest um, features added to Drumbo. In particular we are going to cover the formant oscillator, which is really fantastic. Before I continue, I would like to remind my viewers to subscribe as it helps with growing the channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so you will find it... Uh, um, inside the generator and there it is it is the formant oscillator of course it is an uh, in up purchase so in if you have purchased it of course it will come available under here where it says shop okay and so let's click on it and uh, let's um, um, instantiate a module a formant oscillator model and i will call also for an adsr as well uh... Okay, there we are. So let's go through the basic and then we are going to create very simply a a little bit using the form oscillator. Okay, so uh, first of all, you have tuning here, course and fine. So you change that in semitone, all right? Very simple, reset the value, fine. In center, of course, and they are really nice. They're very simple, but uh, connected to a format, uh, they become really powerful. Here you have a number of vowels, okay? If you click where it says A, you can change the vowels from A to E, I, O, U, and nasal as well. So let's try uh, nasal. E. I. O. U. Okay, let's put it back to A. And you can use the formant uh, dial here to change between the different vowels. So it changes from A to U, okay? And it's quite nice because then you can modulate these, for example, with an oscillator. You have also the ability to change the shift here, which is quite nice. If there are lower values, it sounds more like a Darth Vader type of um, um, voice. Uh and the opposite sounds like more a Mickey Mouse. You can change the bandwidth here as well. If you want to see that in more details, go to miscellaneous utility, bring in an oscilloscopes, change the scale. And let's see what happens when you change the bandwidth. So you see the peak in terms of amplitude, which is changing. And I hope you have uh, headphones, but you can change also the uh, bass oscillator as well. You have a sync option as well. Okay, so these are the basics for the formant oscillator. So let's try to use it and see what we can make of it. So, okay. So let's reset these. Double click. We go to reset value. And let's get these standard as well. Reset. Maybe you, maybe we go lower and octave. Okay, perfect. And we insert some notes like so. Perfect. And let's record some variation on the format now. Really nice already. And of course, the beauty of Rumble is that you can keep uh, adding modules, right? So that's where Rumble really is fantastic. So let's add the reverb. Perfect. Sounds really, really nice already. Okay, let's expand the air. Let's duplicate. Uh, uh, the pattern, let's go to track number two to that particular clip. And why not? Let's add uh, under generator and an kick. Perfect. And let's add some uh, uh, notes. Really nice, isn't it? So, okay, let's duplicate that again. Let's go to track number three. And let's add again another formant oscillator. Okay. 
let's leave it there. I, I pitch. Uh, let's do something like this. And then let's play now a little bit with some uh, oscillator as well. and let's add another one for example uh, again another um, four month oscillator why not Oops. okay and uh, let's choose a note something like this Perfect, and now let's play and add some further modules. <laughs> Let's add an analog filter. Let's go to processor. And indeed, also you find a format filter as well, which I will cover in the next tutorial. And let's play again. <laughs> Repeat, why not? Like this one, repeat twice, and then the next one, repeat twice, and so on and so forth. You can obviously enjoy using Drumbo to create your own composition in the new format um, oscillator. So, really, really nice and impressive. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed is a fantastic addition to Drumbo. You can really have a lot of fun with the format oscillator. Okay, I'll see you in the next video where we are going to cover the format filter. Okay, bye.